but they're sleeping, so I'm gonna surprise her and wake her up. Shh. Leo, wake up! Oh my God. Mackenzie, why are you waking me up right now? Because I wanna hang out. And what time is it? It's, it's only 3 a.m. Why do you always want to hang out at such weird times? Because we're hanging out a few hours ago. No, we have to hang out at 3 a.m. because I really want to tell us like scary ghost stories. I kind of like scary ghost stories. Do you? I do. Okay, let's find some scary ones on the internet. Wait, let's go into my bedroom. Okay, okay. My bedroom's scarier, so come out of this. Come out of this. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on. We gotta go into my bedroom. Let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, we're gonna tell some really spooky ghost stories that hopefully by the end of this, we're not gonna be able to sleep at night. I think we should find real scary stories, like not ones that are made up. No, no, for real. We have to find like the most realest, purest stories online. Like, I don't know. I don't know what websites we're gonna go on, but like we have to find people's real stories. Honestly, I can't even believe we're doing this because I already have a hard time sleeping in your house. I know. This house is for sure. Haunted. Well, this house is already haunted, so this, hopefully we don't like Make anything like come, come alive, alive in here. Or like, what if we read a story that's actually something that's happened to us? Oh God, no, don't say that. That would be so scary. No, don't say that. We've experienced a lot of things in this house. I feel like this is a yeah, really bad idea. Okay, what websites are we gonna look on? Like, myghoststory.com? No, we have to look at like people's real life experience. Oh, like a Reddit thread. Yes, exactly. <gasps> okay, okay. I'm gonna try and find a creepy story about a little girl. Oh, I hate stories about little girls. Those are bad ones, you guys. Those are literally like Woo. the worst kind of stories that like you could look for. And okay. scary movies always have a creepy little girl. Okay, let me look for a story. Let me look for a story. Okay. Hmm. Kens, this story is so freaky. You I found one? a good one. Okay. I like read a little bit and it's like, this is all we needed. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Go for it. Okay, I'll read it. Okay. Tell us. Tell us. Okay, so this is from a girl named Reese. Okay, so I moved into this new place, right? And I got an attic. And I'm thinking, super cool, we got a lot of storage. But no, it turns out it's like a bonus level in a horror game thanks to this evil little girl ghost that's taken up residence there. So there's a little girl ghost. There's a little girl living, living in their attic. In their attic of her new house. This oh is like god. you, Mackenzie. Oh my god, this is kind of like me. I have, a, I have a creepy little Mackenzie girl living does. in my attic. Okay, keep going, keep going. At first, I didn't know about her. I hear these weird noises at night, like little footsteps or a toy rolling around. And I figured, old house, old pipes, whatever. Honestly, I have an old house, and sometimes things do make sounds, but there's no little footsteps or toys. That's creepy. No, none of that. But then stuff starts getting weirder. I'd find old toys scattered around the attic entrance. Toys that definitely weren't mine. What? One day I find this creepy old doll just sitting there, staring down the stairs. A creepy doll in her attic sitting, uh, wait, like sitting in the stairs? At the open door. Like imagine we go up your stairs and the attic's there and the door's open, there's a doll sitting there. Okay, that's so creepy. That that's is not so okay, creepy. Okay, what happens next? She, it gave, oh my God. the doll gave me the heebie-jeebies, but I tossed it back up there and tried to forget about it. Kate, you cannot just forget something like that. Yeah, what? My friends thought it was all a big joke. Haunted attic, sure, they'd say, laughing it off until I convinced them to spend the night. We're all camped out in the living room. Guys, I literally have chills. I don't oh even know what I'm thinking. Scared. We're telling stories, trying to make light of it all, when we start hearing the giggling coming from upstairs. Giggling? Not just any giggle though. This was like a sinister kitty laughter straight out of a horror film. This is exactly what I'm talking no, about. No, this is scary. So many scary movies are literally like this. Like you okay, hear a kid bad. running. This is bad. Okay, this we is need bad. to find out what happens. Okay, what happens, what happens We next? all froze looking at each other like, you heard that, right? Feeling brave or stupid, we decided to check it out. I can't believe she lived to tell the tale of this story. Oh my god, yeah, hopefully she didn't, she didn't die, I right? don't know, I don't know. Okay, keep going, keep going. way more. Oh my god. We go up to the attic, flashlights in hand, and the air gets cold. Kids, it happens to us all the time. That literally happens to us when we go up to my attic. Oh god. There's that doll again, right in the middle of the floor, but now it's holding a piece of paper that says, play with me. Are you kidding? It literally, they set that, like, there's no way. Okay, that is freaky. Play with How me. could she have written a note? Were they playing the under the door it's game? Like a dead doll. Yeah, no, nope. we got right out of there and the door slams shut before we can get out of the attic. We're now in panic mode, full blast. That is crazy. That's so freaky, that's so freaky. Is there more? Okay, yeah, 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 okay. After what felt like hours, probably just a few minutes, the door just opens, like nothing ever happened. We bolt downstairs, swearing off the attic for good. But the little ghost girl, she's not having it. 
stuff starts moving on its own, lights flicker, and they giggling. It's everywhere now, and it's louder. Oh my god, so that she one was literally like, freaked me out. She was like crazy, trying to go crazy, go control crazy. the whole house, freak them out, getting them mad. Out. So, oh my god, okay. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I'm jumping at shadows. My house feels like it's her playground now. Eventually, I've had enough. I call it a medium. That's what we should do, Ken. Yeah, we, we should, should call a medium. medium. Someone who talks to like spirits and ghosts. That would be crazy. Hopefully, this is somebody that can talk to our little attic tenant and convince her to, I don't know, move on or at least chill out. Honestly, I do the same. The medium does her thing, coming in and talking to thin air, and then she goes pale. Turns out our ghost girl thinks she's still alive, playing in her attic, and she's lonely. Wait, so the medium said that? Yeah, that she thinks, that she's saying that the little girl still thinks she's alive, playing in the attic, and she's lonely and oh wants a friend. Oh my god, oh, she just wants some of the play with. That's kind of sweet. The medium does some more of her magic, talking about the light and crossing over, and things finally start to calm down. After that night, there's been no more giggling, no more toys moving on their own. I'm still very wary of the attic though. I've sealed it up for good and made it clear to my ghostly roommate that the rest of the house is off limits. Things have been quiet since then, but sometimes late at night, I swear I can hear a soft whisper, come play, play with me, drifting down from the attic. I literally have goosebumps. Oh my God, that's so scary. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I hate that one. That one was a really bad one, you guys. Guys, a creepy, you guys, do you guys have any creepy like that? Has that ever happened to you? Like, I can't even little girls living in your attic. I feel like that happens to me. That literally, Kens, we always hear about a little girl upstairs. I feel like there's a little girl upstairs right now. I Sarah? Feel like she can hear us. And Eleanor, like lots of spirits, bro. Oh my god. Okay, that was freaking. That one was freaking. Okay, wait, I, I, I wanna find I wanna find another scary story. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, I wanna find one about like Chuck E. Cheese or something. That was like I wanna find like a real scary story about Chuck E. Cheese. The Chuck e. Cheese. Okay, let me try okay, to okay, find okay. one. Honestly, Reddit was a good spot to look. Yeah, it was a good one. That was creepy. I think I got one. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got one. Oh no. Okay, are you ready? I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, ready? This is what he wrote, okay? Some some boy wrote this in. Okay. I never thought I'd have to tell a story like this, but here it goes. It's about the last time I ever set foot in a Chuck E. Cheese. You know the place where a kid can be a kid? Well, turns out it's also a place where things can go horribly wrong. I mean, we know that. We know. Things go wrong in Chuck E. Cheese all the time There's when we so go. There's so many scary stories Okay, too. okay, listen, listen. Okay. It was supposed to be a fun day. My two best friends, Alex and JV, and I were stoked because Alex's little brother, Timmy, was having his birthday party there. Pizza, games, and those slightly creepy animatronics singing on stage. What's not to love when you're 10, right? Well, we were having the time of our lives, racking up tickets, trading them for cheap toys, we'd probably lose by the next day, but then things got weird. Really, really weird. What? We noticed Timmy was talking to one of the staff members, a guy dressed as the Chuck E. Cheese mascot. Nothing odd about that, except we hadn't seen this guy before, and he seemed overly interested in convincing Timmy to follow him. That's so creepy. Being the overprotective brother, Alex intervened, asking what was up. The mascot just laughed, a sound that didn't quite match the cheerful exterior and said that he was showing kids a special game in the back. That is so gross. Wait, a special game in the back? Ew, that is so gross. So the mascot is like, come to the come back? Come to the back? They, yeah. Why would they want to bring anybody back there? I don't know. That's so bad. Let me keep going, let me keep okay, going. Okay. This is getting crazy yeah, though. Tell me what happened. I'm kind of nervous, okay. Alarm bells went off in my head. I'd seen enough cartoons to know that special games hidden in the back rooms were bad news. For sure. We convinced Timmy to stay with us, and the mascot walked off, seemingly unfazed. But curiosity got the better of us. What was this special game? We decided to investigate, thinking maybe we were missing out on the coolest part of Chuck E. Cheese. So we sneaked away from the party and found a door slightly ajar, leading to what looked like a maintenance corridor. The mascot was nowhere in sight, but we continued on thinking maybe the game was further inside. That's when we heard it. Soft, echoing sobs coming from a room down the hall. Timmy insisted we check it out, convinced that someone in there needed help. Oh, this is getting creepy. This I'm getting really chills, weird. I'm getting chills. Okay. Sobbing? That's cr Like they were hearing cries? So creepy. Coming from the back room? 
Okay, the room was dimly lit, filled with old arcade games and parts of broken animatronics. Okay, now that freaks me out right there. Broken animatronics they just keep in the back room? So creepy. That's freaky. And then there in the corner, there were three kids huddled together, crying. They looked up, relief washing over their faces when they saw us. They told us that the mascot had brought them here, promising an exclusive game, but instead locked them in and then left. Stop. They'd been there for hours, scared and alone. That's horrible. Wait, isn't that like kidnapping? Yeah, the parents would be so scared. Oh my God. Wait, did this actually happen? This is crazy, okay. We knew we had to get out and tell someone. Finding our way back, we burst into the party, dragged the kids with us, and told Alex and Jamie's parents everything. The manager was called, the police arrived, and a frantic search for the mascot began. But here's the kicker. There was no record of him even being an employee. The costume he wore was an older design, not used by the staff for years. No way, so he literally snuck in there just to mess with kids. Him just to mess with kids, and like, or kidnap, kidnap kids, or... Or, I don't know. That's horrible. Wait, that's so freaky. Where did he even get the mascot? I don't know. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Okay, the story blew up, making local headlines. Chuck E. Cheese issued an apology, tightening security, but for us, it was too late. The innocence of that place was shattered. Wait, this is probably a story that we could like search up on like news reports and see in like newspapers. And somebody like, being arrested. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Alex, Jimmy, Timmy, and I never spoke much about it after that. It was a slight agreement to leave the past in the past, but every now and then, when I pass by Chuck E. Cheese, I can't help but shiver, remembering the day fun turned into fear, and how easily we could have been the ones trapped, crying in the dark, if not for a stroke of luck. Okay, that's so freaky. This that's so, so freaky. Creepy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's almost done. It says, is this the ending? Okay. That day changed everything for us. We lost a piece of our childhood in the dim light of that back room. A reminder that not all games are fun and not all smiles are friendly. That is so oh weird. Oh my God, that's so Oh my God. And now I never want to go back to Chuck E. T. Imagine going there and having somebody talk to you like they work there. So you try to like, I'm scared. You want to like believe that they're good, but they're evil. Yeah, like they're if, bad, if, scary if I go to Chuck E. Cheese and Chuck E. Cheese is like, hey, I have a cool game in the back room. I'm like, bet, let's go to the back room. Or then how did the employees never even notice? Guys, like they didn't this is why see. you cannot follow strangers in no, the back room. Definitely because we not. don't know Chuck E. Cheese. This is horrible. Oh my God. Guys, I can't even believe that. This is so scary. I love telling ghost oh. stories at I night. I know I can't believe it. I kind of like feel scared. Wait, let's find more. Okay, let's okay, find we'll more. more. Oh, I found one of a really creepy phone call. 3 a.m. you guys. Wait, what do you mean? This is like, it's taking place at 3 a.m. in this story and we're up at 3 a.m. Like people were calling on a phone at 3 a.m.? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. This one's okay. gonna be good. I'm stressed, I'm so stressed. So, there's this thing that started happening to me and dude, it's straight out of a horror movie. Every single night at exactly 3 a.m., my phone rings. The first time it happened, I thought it was a mistake, you know? Wrong number or a drunk friend dialing without looking, but then, kept happening every night the same time this unknown number pops up on my screen okay wait are we just like ignore the fact that it's 3 a.m right now i mean that's like what's really weird and do you remember the seven days movie like the ring where they're like every seven single day they call days. you at that same time and they say seven days and then they die that's literally and in seven days they die this oh, is what no, this reminds no, me of oh no, this is gonna be a okay, bad okay, one okay, okay, let's see what happens <laughs> nice. at first i ignored it but curiosity got the better of me and one night i answered big mistake the moment i said hello the air around me went ice cold. Oh my God. Why does it always get cold when it bad things are about to happen? It always gets cold. The spirits. All I could hear on the other end was this slow, heavy breathing. And then a child's voice whispering, it's time to play. I freaked out, ended the call, and tried to convince myself it was just some kids messing with me. Honestly, I mean, maybe, but that seems kind of crazy. 3 a.m., what are the kids doing at 3 a.m. every night? Yeah, why are kids awake at 3 a.m.? Yeah, that's, that's not That's kind of a weird all. theory but the calls didn't stop. Every night, 3 a.m., that phone would ring. I tried blocking the number, but somehow it always got through. I even changed my number, and for a few nights, peace returned. I thought I'd beaten whatever this was, but then right on cue, the phone rang again at 3 a.m. Some unknown number, same creepy whisper. 
it was like this thing, whatever it was, was tied to me, not the phone. Oh my god. No, gosh. that's so This bad. sounds exactly like the this ring. This is so creepy. I don't like this. I thought I the ring like was just this. a movie. I'm gonna have this, nightmares for sure. I'm having real... nightmares. Oh I'm my. having nightmares okay. tonight. It's it's already happening. I talked to my friends about it and they thought I was losing it. Prank callers, they said. Or you're just dreaming it, they tell me. But I knew better. This was real and it was happening. So I did what any sane person would do. I set up a camera to record myself sleeping, hoping to catch whatever was happening. Wait, she set up a camera? Yeah, oh like literally God. thinking that they were gonna That's catch crazy. something. They might, they might, okay. have we known all? Watching the footage the next day, I, okay, this is so creepy. I don't okay, know why okay. this creeps me out. Okay, okay. tell me, tell me. Watching the footage the next day, I saw myself sleeping peacefully. Then the clock hits 3 a.m. My phone rings, but here's the creepy part. As soon as the ringtone sounds, this shadowy figure in the corner of the room just standing there watching me. As I reach for the phone, it disappears. Nothing else happens until I hang up and go back to sleep. The shadowy figure was gone as if it was never there. Wait, so it's like this weird haunting phone call. Like I bet it's not even a person calling. It's like a spirit so or it was something. like a spirit. Yeah. Or maybe there was a person. Maybe, maybe there, there was, was a person. Ooh. Standing in their <sighs> window? Just like standing in the corner of the room, like a shadowy figure. Oh God, that's not okay. This blew my mind. I wasn't just dealing with some prank caller. This was something supernatural, something that couldn't be explained. I showed the video to my friends and finally they believed me. Together we decided it was time to confront whatever this was. How do you confront a shadow or a, like a spirit? I don't know, I don't know. We stayed up waiting for the call. It came right on schedule. This time I put the phone on speaker. It's time to play, the voice said again. My friend, trying to be brave, asked, who are you? What do you want? The line went silent for a moment, and then with a laugh that made our blood run cold, it said, ah, I'm already here. The phone died right after, and the temperature in the room dropped. We could see our breath. That's like winter cold. That's like so ice cold. That's ice cold. The shadowy figure appeared again, but this time it didn't disappear. It moved closer, and we could see it was a girl her eyes hollow and her smile a bit too wide. Panic set in and we did the only thing we could think of. We ran out of there, not stopping, till we were far away from the house. I never went back. I moved in with a friend until I could find a new place. The call stopped, thankfully. But sometimes when it's late and the world is quiet, I swear I can still hear whisper in the air. It's time to play and I'm reminded that some things can't be explained and some games you never truly escape. Oh God, that's so scary. Oh my gosh, I that one. Like that one. That one was wait, bad. Wait, that one's making me really scared. Yes, that was really scary. Like imagine just, how does that even make any sense? I don't know. I can't believe that's a real story. I don't know. This makes me feel like like ghosts and spirits, like they are They're really- They're here. They are really here and this is really real. I know. I'm scared. Ken's. We can't let these ghosts sleep like, tonight. They're gonna take over our lives. They're gonna take over our house. They're gonna take over our lives. They're gonna take Terrible. over everything. Wait, I'm getting really scared. Should we keep going? Or I think, we, no, I think, I think we need to find more. You wanna keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. It's about a stalker. I hate that. I hate stalkers. Stalkers are stories. so creepy. Stalkers are so creepy. Okay, okay, okay. Should we do it? I think, I think, yeah, read it, read it. I wanna know. We need to be prepared. We never wanna be stalked. Oh God, this one's really bad. This one's really bad. Oh no. All right, let me tell you about this crazy thing that's been happening to me. And honestly, it's straight up nightmare fuel. So there's this dude, super creepy, who has this thing for standing outside my window every single night. Just thinking about it gives me the heebie-jeebies, like literally, oh my God. What is that person doing outside? I don't know, I don't know. That's so crazy. It all started a few weeks back. I was just doing my usual nighttime routine, you know, brushing my teeth, scrolling through my phone for way too long, the usual stuff. Then I hit the lights and dive into bed, ready to catch some sleep. That's when I noticed it. I thought I saw a shadow move past my window. I live on the ground floor, so seeing someone walk by, by now and then, isn't weird, but this one just felt off. I brushed it off as my imagination and eventually fell asleep. Oh my gosh. The next night, the same thing happened. I'm about to doze off when I get this eerie feeling like someone is watching me. Oh Wait, I feel like someone's watching us right no, now. I'm literally. scared, I'm scared. Is there anybody here? Is there gonna be a jump scare? No, I hope not. I peek out my window and there he is. 
this guy just standing there staring into my room with this blank look on his face. It freaked me out big time. I ran to my window, slammed it shut, and yanked the curtains closed. My heart was pounding like crazy. Oh my God. I didn't sleep much that night. The next day, I told my friends about it, thinking they said that I was just seeing things. But the look on their faces told me that they believed me, and that only made it scarier. They suggested calling the cops, or at least getting some curtains that you can't see through. I decided to take their advice and got some blackout curtains. Problem solved, I thought. Oh, how wrong I was. Oh, no. The blackout curtains made my room feel safe, darker, more secure. I thought I'd outsmarted my creepy window peeper. What was that? What was that? Did the lights go out? No pens. Okay. This was such a bad idea. Maybe we shouldn't have read these stories. Wait, I'm scared that there's someone in the window right now. I know, me too. That was so scary. I'm scared. I know. Should we look? Is there someone out I there? don't think so. Do you think so? Should we look? Okay, well we probably should. Can he read it? Can he even see us? I, I think you barely. I'm gonna keep going. Here, maybe I'll put the flashlight on. But then it got weirder. Every night without fail, I'd hear tapping on my window. Tap, tap, tap. Like he knew I couldn't see him anymore, but he wanted to make sure I knew he was still there. It was like a game to him. This went on for nights. Tap, tap, tap. Every night, I was losing sleep, constantly looking over my shoulder, jumping at every little sound. I was a mess. My friends saw the bags under my eyes and knew things had gotten worse. They stayed over one night, thinking there's safety in numbers, right? We watched movies, stayed up late, trying to make light of the whole situation. But when we turned off the lights and settled in, there it was. Tap, tap, tap on cue. Oh my gosh. We all heard it. It wasn't just me anymore. There was no denying it. We mustered up the courage, flung the curtains open, ready to confront whoever was messing with me, but there was no one there. Just the cold, empty night staring back at us. We checked the time. It was 3 a.m. Stop. We looked at each other confused and scared. Who does this kind of thing and why? Why do bad things always happen so at 3 a.m.? Always. The tapping became our nightly terror. No matter what we did, it wouldn't stop. What was that? Did you hear that? Is there something outside? Was that tapping? I don't know. Kenzo, what was that? You was that, that too, right? <coughs> Should I check the windows? The curtains are down. Yeah, go look, go look. Wait, I'm scared, I'm scared. You maybe it's like a bush or something. What do you mean? I don't know, maybe it's like, I don't know, like a piece of wood like on the window oh or god, something? Oh god, this is really bad. Yeah, this I'll is really, look. really bad. Man, did, did you see that? No, what was it? Oh my god, guys, 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 I swear there's something there. No. I swear, I swear there's something there. You saw like movement or something? Yeah, like I saw like a shadow like run by really fast right when I... What do we do? I don't know. Should we call somebody? Wait, do we call the cops? I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Maybe we shouldn't be in here. Oh, we all found the house, whatever it is. He knows that we're in here. It's getting loud. No. This is bad. This it is feels really like bad. Okay, I think we need to stop. No, this. we need to go.